Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope you are having a very Merry Christmas. So for today's episode, we of course have the bazaar today. Yes, let's make today a great one, shall we? A great one for profit. But now today should be a good day with the bazaar. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we can sell and uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. And I need to harvest these yams and eggplant. I forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Um, we're also going to need to put away the yam and the eggplant on the end. Today for the bazaar, I would really like to be upgrading our storage. Just because we are starting to have issues with that again. And we are getting to the point where, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade it. Uh, with the what with the uh, wonderfuls that uh, Diego will be selling soon and all of that. Yo. Hey, yeah. The wonderfuls and the suns, which that's another thing that we'll need. If uh, um, is we'll need uh, um to buy a, a summer sun if he has it. And in addition to upgrading our storage uh, I'd also like to get some silver if we can from Lloyd of course that's a given we always want to be getting more silver from Lloyd and he just does not want to be stocking it that uh, pink diamond cannot be turned into a, uh, a necklace even though we need silver for that anyway or uh, um, or a bracelet rather it gets turned into a brooch Losing myself. Okay, so we actually managed to get to the bazaar almost on time. That is nutty. Today's the bazaar. Let's do our best to make sure the customers leave happy. Well, let's also do our best to make a lot of money. And of course, the best way to do that is to make your customers leave happy. We're also gonna sell this truffle. Uh, so in this game, truffles can only be used as kind of a replacement ingredient for mushroom dishes for just other mushrooms. You can, and I, I don't think that makes, it makes any difference whether or not you use, whether you use truffles or whether you use the, the other mushrooms, which is unfortunate. So there's not really much use in having them unless you're low on mushrooms and you want to make something for somebody for their birthday or something. And already we're at 57,000. Man, those bracelets. The, uh, the brooches, the pink, the pink brooches are worth even more, so, yeah. Hey, I want one of these truffle. Can I have one? You know what? Sure, kid. Why not? We want to save some of these herbs so that we can make herb salad and things like that. But for now, I mean, we've got a couple weeks left of fall, so... It can... Hey, this eggplant is nice. Can I have it? For free? Sorry. No, please pay for it. I think this is the... Hey, this is a gift for Lucy one, so let's try. Please pay for it. Hey, I'll pay you later. Put it on my tab. See ya. So wait, just saying no is what... I'm so confused. Oh, I don't have enough money for the spinach seeds. How about for half price? You can't have everything. Okay, how about for half price? What? Really? You're so kind. Thank you. Red wine. White wine. Yarn. Chestnuts. Eggplant. Oh, gosh. Yams. Milk! Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? On the right side. Just look to your right. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. If you made it this far in the video, do not forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All that stuff really does help me out and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget. 
Dimitri mushrooms, eggplant, yams, spinach, milk, eggs, spinach seeds. Oh my gosh, please. Oh my glasses, I can't find my glasses. Don't sell glasses. <laughs> They're on your head, yes. Everybody who's ever worn glasses has had that happen to them, and everybody who has ever lived has had something similar happen. Hello, I'm member number 317,315 of Marion's fan club. I came to see Marion, but I can't find her anywhere. Do you know where she is? Didn't I tell you the last time you were here? Just go up. Come on. Marion, I'm coming for you. I love you. You should lose friendship with Marion for, for telling him. <laughs> there were so many great opportunities for that with the bizarre responses that kind of fell through. So yeah, we should actually almost definitely um, get first place. And uh, we do have a pretty darn good chance of getting, uh, um, getting first in terms of customers. Customer satisfaction. My glasses, I can't. Aren't you just here? What? Oh, you're right. Thank you. I didn't notice them at all. So far, you've earned 205,480G. You've met the goal. That's great. Yes, in fact, it is. <gasps> Cauliflower! Yes! I actually don't know if that will grow in time. 11 to 15 days. Yeah, actually, that's just about perfect. But let's go ahead and get 18 just in case. Just in case. Like every single day is rainy or something like that. Technically, we could uh, upgrade our bazaar stall this week, but it's not an issue. It can easily wait. Nice to see you. Welcome to Wilbur's Workshop. Uh, expand storage. Okay, this is the last expansion, I think. I'll have everything done by tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I would much rather buy some silver or something like that if... <sighs> Dang it, Lloyd. But that said, we can buy some copper, and that'll be nice. I mean, just 20 will be fine. I gotta be so disappointed. It... I, I bought 28,000 worth of ore for you. Come on, man. Alright, let's play with our five bronze coins. Okay, then, let's see just how lucky you are. Fifth, fifth prize. Okay. Well, fluorite is better than nothing. Fluorite, well, I mean, you can't get nothing from the super lucky lotto, but it's better than scrap ore. <gasps> I actually just remembered something. It's Cindy and Lauren's birthday tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab their presents and uh, we can get them wrapped. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stand. Don't have stewed apples. Baked apples is actually really nice. Well, so I've been told. I made baked apples for uh, my mother and, and aunts and we got four. And uh, while I was trying to scrape out the core with with a knife, I dropped one in in the garbage. And I was like, "Well, I guess that one was mine." You don't actually get a huge boost from uh, um, from wrapping it in their favorite color relative to the boost that you get from it being their birthday and things like that. Um, the, the main thing about that is like if it's a liked gift or an okay gift that is, uh, um, is not given to them on their birthday or something like that because it's just a flat 100 extra friendship points. Um, whereas, I mean, a liked gift is 150 by itself. 150 friendship points. All right, let's try our luck. Fourth place prize, material stone. 
Oh, I was thinking it was an ore stone for some reason. <laughs> Fantastic. Third place prize, that's better. Bottled chestnuts. Still doesn't pay for the cost of the ticket, but that's okay. And not a winner. Oops, one of these days I'll get the controls down. I'm trying to mash through this and then... Second place prize, good butter. Nice. That's from Jersey Cows. Good butter comes from Jersey Cows. Jersey Cows come from... Wait, no. That doesn't work. Second place prize again. Good cheese. Also from Jersey Cows. Well, that's nice. Oh, is that the summer sun I see? I think it is. Yes. Okay. So that was good. That's good. I was a little worried that once we were done with our fall crops, we were not going to get to that. But uh, of course, that's the topaz, right? You uh, you need that to make some jewelry. Share a ton of flour. And we already have the blueberry seeds. You see, well, I'll be waiting here if you change your mind. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune, Red? It's just 100G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? You should talk to as many people as you can. It will bring you good fortune. I mean, I already do that. I mean, in game. Not in real life, but that's aside from that. Hello there, welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Well, this is just a rumor, really. I like cows. They're always so calm and amiable. Animals may seem alike, but they all have distinct personalities. That's what makes them so fascinating. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Oh yes, definitely animals. Definitely, I know that to be true. Right, Nisa? I would say right Lincoln, but he's somewhere else. But Nisa knows full well that Lincoln has a very different personality than she does. Cauliflower saute. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. Alright. That's it for Claire's Cafe, and now for... Jones Cafe. Do I already have everything? I already have everything. Hmm. You know, we could just get a whole bunch of Mont Blancs. Honestly, like, why not? We've got the money for it. I think 20 should do. Thank you. I hope you like it. I hope Stuart likes it. Okay then, come again. I'm tempted to get that... that cat toy, but... Um... Hello, how are you doing? All right, hello. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Hello there, Ray. Eh? Are you eating well? I'm sorry, I'm a bit busy right now. Of course. Sorry about that. So, what should we have? Marinated fish? It's... Yeah, let's have some... I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. We were very busy today. Mm. And we still need to go back and sell... Our winnings from the Lucky Lotto. Our winning. Well, actually, the good butter and the good cheese combined with the material stone was enough to, uh, to offset the costs of playing the Lucky Lotto, and so the chestnuts are just pure profit. I guess we got lucky today, didn't we? Cheese! Alright, there we go. Met the goal and more. So, hopefully, that will mean... Hmm. 
I was thinking of maybe getting these Mont Blancs ra wrapped. You do get quite a boost from uh, giving wrapped gifts, but I don't know. Hi there, eh? Oh, oh, a Mont Blanc. I really love these. This looks great. Thank you. Thank Joan. Ori, hi, sweet queen. Queen with you makes me so happy, Ray. Uh, it's like you're my soulmate. It. <clears throat> First of all, Chris Hansen, please. This is this has nothing to do with you. This isn't what it looks like. Second of all, you know I'm married, right? I finished up that job you ordered at the bazaar. Go check it out, okay? Show sure enough. And I believe that is the last upgrade we can get from Wilbur. And the last upgrade for really much of anything is the... Let's, let's go ahead and check. Farm additions. Okay, so basement and field or... Anyway, and then storage upgrades and preservation. Yep. Maximum. The trough we get from uh, Enrique when we try to uh, buy another cow or sheep from him. He'll be like, hey, hold on, you only have enough uh, space to feed one. Uh, to you don't have enough space to feed all these animals. You, you, you've already got ten, and that's the maximum you can, you can have with the amount of space that you have. And uh, then he uh, he offers to sell you a trough. So you need like 20,000, I think, for that. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners! In third place with 129,999G! Joan! Congratulations! In second place with 178,000G. Yes, did it. Roll store, congratulations. And in first place with 207,350G. Ray, congratulations. ready to let you youngsters take over. I'm going to work on a new menu for the cafe, right, Marion? Yes, let's think of some new items. I would be very pleased by that. And the person with the happiest customers was... Roo! The customer said your service was top notch! Is that one? Is that one that was looking for a gift for Lucy? Oi. the down proud. Keep up the good work. For being in the top three, Ray will receive a token of thanks. A muscat tea. I hope you like it. Our goal to be the best bazaar in the world is now a tiny bit closer. We need to bring in more customers. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar! Nice. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and brew myself some of that muscat tea at some point, I'm sure. Did I talk to... Good morning. Let's make today a great one. Why? Oh, I guess we are not ready to harvest the carrots just yet. 52 hours. Oh my goodness. We are so close. And then we can put the wonderful in here, and that will be very nice. By the way, in case you didn't notice, the apple tree seeds are at five stars, so apparently the quality of the fertilizer did matter for that. Oh, no. oh good morning. I'm always sleepy in the morning. I don't really wake up until noon. That's something I would like to see in uh, in Ranch Story games, just to add more variety to the gift giving, is, you know, maybe diminishing returns from giving a person the same exact gift every single day. Mm. 
delicious. But I don't think that's something that they would like to add. Actually, wait, no. Cindy and Lauren wouldn't be at the racetrack because Kevin isn't there, right? Are they over here? Here they are. Okay. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? I'm here to give you a birthday gift. For me? Cool. A birthday present? Thanks, Ray. You're pretty cool. Um, hello. I love this wrapping paper. Is this for me? A birthday present? This makes me so happy. Well, I am glad the two of you like your presents. Now I gotta get out of here before Chris Hansen shows up. Carrot stun, no, uh, um, no spinach done, but that's fine. Oh, we didn't, hmm, we didn't take out the, uh, uh, the cauliflower seeds. That's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Why are you worrying? These tea trees should have no trouble lasting throughout winter. I think if they were seeds, there was a, there would be a chance that they would die. Again, I don't I don't know. the The whole thing is the whole thing with the chances is not an in-game probability every day to die, but rather the probability of whether or not the developers added that feature to it to the game. So. Emperor Dragonfly! Okay, uh, we are going to rush to Raul's, and I'm going to show you how much this would net us if we sold it to him. Remember, Raul buys things for 50% of the base value. You can sell stuff at the bazaar for 80% of the base value. But I'm just going to show you how much this would be if we sold it to him, because this is the most expensive critter. There is a, uh, a Firefly that is the second most expensive, and then... There is the Ancient Dragonfly, which is the third most expensive. But this one, 2,000 G at three stars. So this would be 3,200 G if I sold it, sold it at the bazaar. But instead, because I'm a nice guy, giving it to Lloyd. Hey, nice. Thanks. And yes, he likes all dragons, dragonflies equally. So... We don't get anything more from that than we would from a red dragonfly. But yes, that is the most expensive critter. And so at three stars, that Emperor Dragonfly, you can sell you could sell it for 3200 at the bazaar, which is nutty. You can catch one of those a day on your farm if you have the third field unlocked and if it's in year two or later. But I mean we're at the point where do we really need that? Mm, we kind of don't. So it's I consider it to be a better investment to just be making friends with Lloyd. So this area over to the right is going to be reserved for wheat. And it's not just those nine spaces either. I'm actually going to have to brutally murder some Cucumber plants, but yeah. Um, so I think it would be a good idea to just have some wheat growing in here basically continuously. Um, and that way we can have a ready st supply, bleh, a ready supply of flour because, well, frankly, otherwise we aren't going to be able to have any flour whatsoever, and that kind of sucks. Well, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you later. Bye.